Somebody hijacked my Facebook page, Ben Alameda Racing. But anyway, I've been trying to figure it out. I got all my tech articles there that I was supposed to do and turn into a video, numerous photographs of everything. But anyway, I'm bored. I'm trying to figure everything out. But here's a short um, hmm, video. See if you guys uh, uh, agree and think about it. This is a short video that I did, oh my gosh, a year ago. And I just wanted to post it out here and see what you think. Uh, a lot of people will always say, oh, I gained 20 foot-pounds of torque or 15 foot-pounds of torque or whatever. But how can we really look at that and really understand that gain? How much is it that I could really see or feel? Well, this video, uh, like your comments, I try to explain it as simple as I can using a torque wrench. And boys, let's see if you agree with this, uh, what I'm trying to present here. And maybe uh, we can get to a better understanding of what's really going on. All right, guys, uh, please comment. It's short, but go figure it out. Bye. We've seen people switch from one intake manifold type, single plane to dual plane, or they go from one header type, one three quarter to inch and seven eighths. And what did they say? Oh, we gained 25, 30 foot pounds of torque. How can we really visualize that? How much did we gain? Something that we can grasp, something that we can hold. Okay, and I've seen it happen where somebody will say, we gained 25 foot pounds of torque switching from a uh, tri-wide to a uh, conventional uh, four into one with a merge collector. So let's see. Let's see what happens here. We will set 25 foot-pounds of torque on this thing right now. Okay? 25 foot-pounds of torque. We'll put it on the crank and let's see. Okay? Listen to that. That's 25 foot-pounds of torque. That is all. Look, it's hardly even a push, okay? <laughs> kind of, wow. If that's the gain, times of course you have RPM, but there it is. It doesn't even turn this crankshaft, okay? You could hear it. Now, the reason we get a lot more power is also because of gear reduction. First gear, the gear reduction in the you know, four speed, let's say a top loader, and then the final drive ratio on the back. I remember when we were living in Silver Lake, my car was down below, okay, on the garage, it's kind of uphill. And I was going, how am I gonna move this car by myself? You know what I did? I stuck that sucker in first gear, put a vice grip on the input shaft, and I turned it this way, okay? And the car started moving up towards the driveway. That's gear reduction. Anything that you gain here, even though it's so little, you could barely feel it like I showed you right now. But with gear reduction, just like when you, you try to snatch a weight, you cannot pick it up at that 500 pound weight. But when you put a combination of pulley or pulleys and how you loop it around, then you can pick it up and you can lift even a thousand pounds just by yourself. Gear reduction, that's how these engines function. But when you only see that much gain torque-wise, of course, but you have to include the RPM, that's not very much, okay? So take note of that.